Thermico dates back to 1983, and we got involved in grease separators in 1985. In many cities, cities, uh, downtown areas, they had no room for the conventional type large concrete or metal grease traps to go, and they wanted more capacity. And that's when we brought out the trap Zilla. Since 2006, we have been perfecting the Trapzilla design. Now today's unit that's being evaluated um, is the Pinnacle. We refer to this as our third generation Trapzilla design. It uses the, the hallmarks of the horizontal baffle. It's got uh, a number of subtle uh, treatments that we do on the inlet and outlet baffle, and the overall tank design has been optimized uh, to, uh, to enhance separation and to have as much grease retention in as small a footprint as possible. Today's test is a rather strenuous test in that it's 100 gallons per minute and it's using 160 degree hot water and it's 20 pounds of grease lard at a time being administered in 200 gallons of water, batch after batch after batch. This is far more strenuous than would be seen in any restaurant. Here are two stainless steel sinks, and they each hold 100 gallons of, of fluid. We will fill them up with water at 150 to 160 degrees F. After the water fills up the, the sink, we will also add lard. The lard is also preheated to the same 150 to 160 degrees F uh, as the water. And because of the sink partition in, is, is in here, we will add 10 pounds of grease here, 10 pounds of, of grease lard over here and drop them in about a, over about a two minute period of time. Total of 200 gallons, dropping in two minutes time gives us 100 gallons a minute and that's the flow rate for the unit we're evaluating. During the test, uh, anything, all the water and some small amount of grease passes through the unit and goes into the skim tank. In order to determine what is retained in the unit, we have to determine what is not retained in the unit, and that's where skimming comes into play. The uh, lower specific gravity grease rises to the top of the skim tank, and we use a, a long blade to corral any grease that has risen to the top over to a corner. We use a, uh, a, a small pan to remove that material uh, from one end of the tank pour that material into a separatory funnel where it further separates. We'll get a little bit more water out of it there and then we pour it into a beaker and weigh it. And that gives us a, a weight of, for each drop cycle, a weight of the amount of the grease that goes through the unit. That gives us the, what it didn't hold and the, uh, we know what we put in to begin with, so the, the difference of those two gives you the, the amount of uh, material that's held inside of the unit. an enormous amount of snow tonight. We found out there was a uh, winter storm uh, rolling in on Wednesday evening, uh, which, you know, we, we thought about, uh, you know, the safety and uh, the ability of our employees to get in. Because of that, we decided to start testing early on Tuesday evening. I plan to be in the building, staying here, finishing the test, and I uh, have no idea if I'm going to get home tomorrow or not because uh, the roads may be totally impassable in our town. We've determined that the Trapzilla model we're testing has passed uh, the theoretical limit of a 750 gallon interceptor, uh, which is 1,381 pounds of grease retained. We did it. I think with that last drop, 
number 76 in this case, we have uh, passed the 1,500 pound mark. Pretty awesome accomplishment. Right now at the conditions in, on Highway 64 between Asheboro and Lexington, you can see a good amount of snow cover on the ground right now in this area. Check on the outside and see how the snow's doing. We just had drop 91. It's about 6.35 uh, in the morning. We've been going for almost 40 hours straight of testing. 92 successful drops. 92 flat separation curve drops. We're That's right. Average of what, 99.3% cumulative efficiency. I'd say this today was a huge success, uh, completely exceeding our expectations. It did. The unit ultimately held 1,826 pounds of, of grease, which was well beyond my expectations, well beyond everybody's expectations. It's great having a unit that over delivers and gives people in a 250 gallon capacity, literally the equivalent of a thousand gallon concrete grease interceptor. We were very proud of what we ended up with. One of the goals here at Thermaco is to exceed our customers' expectations. We have a product, a, a the, the, the product that stores multiple times the industry standard minimum requirement, uh, nine times the, the, the standard, plus uh, has efficiencies that's up close to uh, just below 100%. And really, it doesn't get much better than that.